Sensor can go home today. The wife of former Minnesota Viking Joe Sensor has finished the work release part of her sentence for the hit and run death of Anasong Panthavong in 2011. Sensor will now be on supervised release. The 48 year old Edina woman will have to submit to regular drug and alcohol testing. She has to pay a $6,400 fine and she will not be able to drive for about six years. Sensor spent almost two years at the women's prison in Shakopee. She has been on a work release the past six months. The hit and run happened when Anasong Panthavon ran out of gas on the Riverside Avenue exit ramp of 94. Sensor hit him while he was putting gas in his car. She kept driving. She said she didn't know she hit a person. She thought maybe she hit a construction barrel or a pothole. A 24 year old woman is accused of deliberately hitting a woman along Hennepin Avenue early Saturday. Witnesses said Vanessa Yuzong drove right at 26 year old Maria Horton and veered toward her when she tried to get out of the way. Horton was dragged by the vehicle, which also rear ended another car. Horton was transported to the hospital. Yuzon was arrested at the scene. This happened just minutes before a woman was shot and killed a block away. Police say the two cases are not related. The shooting happened inside a strip club. 32 year old Lakeisha Neal of Minneapolis was at Augie's when police say another woman walked in and shot her. Investigators say it was not a random attack. The suspect turned herself in hours later. Neil's friends say the women knew each other, but they don't know why Neil was targeted. It is a big day for the first group of people who had contact with the first Ebola patient diagnosed in the United States. The monitoring period is over for 43 people and a 44th will be cleared later on today. Omar Villafranca has the latest from Dallas. The confinement is over for dozens of people who had contact with Thomas Eric Duncan, the first Ebola patient diagnosed in the United States. The 21 day monitoring period has passed with none of them, including Duncan's fiance, Louise Tro, and her family showing signs of the disease. Today is a jubilant day for them. They are really looking forward to getting out and resuming their lives. Judge Clay Jenkins says Tro's family is concerned about how the community will treat them especially the children who go back to school tomorrow. They do not have Ebola. They are people who've been through an incredible ordeal, and they are people who need our compassion, our respect, and our love. About 120 more people continue to be monitored in Texas, including people who came in contact with the two nurses who contracted Ebola while caring for Duncan. Nina Pham and Amber Vinson are in stable condition in hospitals in Maryland and Atlanta. The CDC is announcing stricter procedures for health care workers treating Ebola patients, including full body suits and hoods. And the Pentagon announced it is forming a special military quick response team. The World Health Organization has declared Nigeria officially free of the Ebola virus. Nigeria reported 20 cases, including eight deaths. We found out this morning that Hillary Clinton will be at a public campaign event this Thursday when she comes to Minnesota for a fundraiser that evening. The former Secretary of State and former First Lady will be at McAllister College in support of Senator Al Franken and Governor Mark Dayton. The doors open at 3 o'clock at McAllister's Leonard Center Fieldhouse. First Lady Michelle Obama will be at Patrick Henry High tomorrow in support of Senator Franken and Governor Dayton. The doors open at 2 o'clock. Now, both events are free, but a ticket is required. We have information about how to get one at WCCO.com slash links. Also on Thursday, Vice President Joe Biden will be in Minnesota. He's going to Duluth and Hibbing in support of Congressman Rick Nolan. Now, we're hosting a debate between Senator Franken and Republican challenger Mike McFadden this Sunday at 10 a.m. Submit your questions for the candidates at WCCO.com. Former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords is in Minneapolis right now. She's meeting privately with Minneapolis Police Chief Janae Harteau and domestic violence prevention advocates. They're talking about possible new laws to protect women and families from gun violence. Giffords was severely wounded in a 2011 shooting that killed six people. We'll have more on her message tonight on our News at 5.